So the Dunlap project split up into two key areas and there's been a lot of progress in both of those areas. Uh, the first is the hardening of the embankments that form the dam that are outside of the river channel. The east side of that embankment is nearing completion. There's been around 5,500 cubic yards of concrete placed um, since the project started in May for the hardening of that embankment. And the emergency spillway that's part of that embankment has also been completed. Uh, out in the primary spillway where the gates are in the main river channel, um, all of the demolition of the first gate has been completed and the concrete around that first gate um, has also been demolished, uh, getting ready to pour additional concrete to form the new dam. So the, the first part of forming the new uh, spillway involves digging probably 20 feet down below the river channel into the, into the mud and pouring a new bulkhead of concrete that's going to extend about 20 feet upstream of the dam. Uh, that's being placed there to form a maintenance dewatering system and also provide stability to the dam. The previous design of the dam did not allow for any type of maintenance activities on the upstream side of the gates without completely dewatering the lake. Uh, this new maintenance dewatering system will allow the Gbray operations crews to deploy a bulkhead and keep the lake full while they are able to dewater the area on the upstream side of the gate and perform some critical maintenance activities. So now that the contractors completed the first pour for the bulkhead, there'll be two more pours to get them up to the slab elevation of the spillway and from there they'll start reshaping the spillway to accept the new gates. Um, they're also in the process of beefing up one of the two center piers by adding two feet of structural concrete on the other side of it and also making it taller out of the river channel. Once that work's complete, they will switch over to the next gate and repeat that process over several months. So since we were last out here in October, contractors completely finished the construction work associated with the emergency spillway. Uh, last time they were forming up kind of the lower spot where the, the river flows will happen when that spillway engages. Uh, since that time, they've completed the pouring of the walls on either side that'll direct that flows through the emergency spillway. Um, they've also completed placing around 6,000 cubic yards of riprap material on the downstream side of that that's designed to prevent erosion should that spillway ever engage. So now we can feel a little more comfortable through the project that if floods do occur, that we're at less risk of losing some of the work that's been performed.